Hey everyone, today we are headed to Lamu, Kenya. It's a small island off the coast of East Africa that is only accessible by boat. Lamu Island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich history, its beautiful Swahili architecture, and its abundance of cats. Cats are so heavily associated with the island that there's even a book all about the cats of Lamu. So we're visiting to learn about Lamu's relationship with cats and how local people are helping them. One of the first things you'll notice about Lamu is that there are no cars or roadways, just narrow streets that you explore on foot. And while you do, you'll see lots of friendly felines along the way. You'll find cats wandering past homes constructed of coral, sharpening their claws on wooden poles, blending in with woven baskets and woodcrafts, and sleeping along the beautiful carved doors, which can be found all throughout the island. Because there are no cars, donkeys are the primary mode of transporting goods. So you'll also spot donkeys and cats hanging out together along the coastline. Along the beaches, cats approach for snuggles, and they use the sand as a massive outdoor litter box. When the tide is low, cats wander the tide pools and rest in the shade of the boats that lie in the coast. All along the waterfront, cats sit and watch the fishermen, eyeing up the catch of the day. Fishing is a huge way of life in Lamu, and fortunately for the cats, there's always plenty to go around. The relationship between people and cats in Lamu is close, and many people have a group of cats they care for in and around their homes. My name is Ghost Knight. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew that's Hannah. It. Hannah. Yeah, we love, we love the cats. Oh, yeah. This is Africa. That is a cat. There's another one there. They love you. They do love you. Because they feed them. Uh, yeah. They come here, so when we eat something, we give them. They love fish. They love rice. <laughs> Uh, they love chapatis, so this one is pregnant. Yeah. That is the husband. Okay. Yeah, immediately I found that he is pregnant, he is pregnant. We just took him. That's right, I just yeah. better to train because Definitely. they'll give us problems. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's very right. When cats live in a dense population and they aren't sterilized, there can be a lot of problems, like transmissible disease, kitten mortality, and overpopulation. Fortunately, in Lamu, there is a dedicated effort to sterilize the population. And because of that, you'll find cats with ear notches all over the island. The ear notch is an indication that they have been spayed or neutered. So how do animal advocates get the job done, even with no vehicle and little access to resources like animal care supplies? We spent the day trapping with Lamu Animal Welfare Clinic to find out. Once a week, they roll a push cart around the island, looking for cats who don't yet have an ear notch. Remember, if they don't have an ear notch, that means they aren't yet sterilized. So those are the ones they want to catch. Using thick gloves, they pick up the cats by hand. And because most of the cats are habituated to humans, they can generally pick them up with relative ease. Then they drop them into a trap. And because they only have two traps, they try to put as many as they can comfortably fit into each. It makes sense to try to get as many cats at once as they can. And since these cats are from the same area, they generally know each other and seem to handle it okay. Before taking off, they cover the traps to reduce stress. Then they continue down the road, catching cats in one area until the traps are full and they can be brought back to the clinic. Once back at the clinic, they're sterilized, held for a few days for recovery, and then can be returned to the area where they were trapped. The work of sterilizing and treating these animals all falls to one amazing young vet, Dr. Peterson Mina. Today is a trapping day, so we go around the Lamu at specific places to trap cats for neutering and also to trap the sick cats for treating them. We have made a big impact in Lamu. My joy comes in seeing an animal that was weak, that was uh, not uh, in, a, in the right state of 
of health come back uh, to the right health after treating it. So I get big joy, I get a lot of happiness in seeing that. Working with Dr. Peterson was wonderful and I was so impressed by how much he gets done with the resources he has. One thing he hasn't had access to in the past is kitten care resources. So I gave him some supplies and a lesson in kitten bottle feeding and he did amazing. You can give like a little bit of pressure. Okay but not too much or they can aspirate. So hold his head and then put, put this up. Yeah. And then squeeze a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Oh, you might have to put a little bit of pressure and he'll start to latch and maybe put him a little more down. Yeah and just squeeze just slightly. There we go. That was good, that was a good. Let's try this other one again, because I think he would like some more. And I saw some fleas. I do have a flea medicine for babies with me, so tilt it up. Do they have Tilt it, yep, like that. And then squeeze just a little. There you go, nice, great. This one is able to Yeah, that's exactly what you want. See how they're like very engaged? We have to, we have to find exactly some what you want. Those, uh, those teeth. Okay. okay. But you know what? You can use that nipple over and over again. Sure, yes. Just sanitize it sure, yeah, between. So this is nice because then you don't have to keep refilling a syringe over and over. So what happens to, I, I'm seeing I, I feed uh, him right now and mm -hmm. then he can just put it in the fridge or? Yeah, put it in the fridge. And we we warm it before we feed them. Okay. Um, not like hot, yeah, but just, just a, a bit warm. like lukewarm, yeah. Okay. Good job, there we go. Oh, I think you're done. I think oh, we're done here. Oh, you are full, full, full. Oh, Let's see your belly. Oh yeah. You can feel that. <laughs> yeah, they are full. <laughs> and see, they have fleas. Traveling with kitten care supplies is something I always do. You never know when a bottle and formula will come in handy or when sharing a skill can help someone save more lives. Some other supplies I travel with are kitten safe flea treatment and eye medications, which are two tiny but incredibly impactful things that I reach for often. Sometimes an act as small as killing fleas on a kitten with a severe infestation or helping to gently compress and open a sealed eye to medicate it can completely change the trajectory of that kitten's life. Something I always find when working with cats around the world is that no matter the place, there is always someone being kind to the animals, and Lamu is no exception. Whether they're catching cats for sterilization, or sharing a bit of fish, or just sharing space together, there's a lot of compassion to go around. If you'd like to help cats in Lamu, please support Lamu Animal Welfare Clinic.